days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet, days on my days on my feet, days on my feet. Hey everyone, it's me. So today I'm going to be doing my Fit Fridays episode number two, and this is going to be helping you guys with your goal setting for your eating habits. So the first thing, I have five tips by the way. Um, the first tip is to do your meal plans. Even if you are easy, like you know what recipes you want to make, plan it out. Because there's going to be that one day where you're just like, I'm too lazy, I don't want to make anything, you don't want to come up with something on the spot. It's nice to have a meal plan that will help you with that. The second tip is to prepare snacks and have something like a, like a fruit or a vegetable. Try to stay with the vegetables more so, but um, if you like need fruit or something, then go with that. But have it prepared, sitting in your fridge, ready to like take on the go. The third tip that I have for you guys is to drink a lot of water because if you guys are really hungry, then your chances are you're probably a little bit dehydrated and water will fill you up a lot more than anything uh, like any other kind of like drinks and all that. Number four, try to limit going out because it, when you go out to eat at a restaurant, they put so much crap in that that you don't even know what you're eating. Literally a bowl of pasta at like any, any restaurant basically, they put butter, salt, pepper, like so much stuff and you just want to stay away from that because all the stuff they put in it, you don't realize what they put in. And also when you're out to eat, try to li like take water instead of soda or alcohol because alcohol is not really good for you and... It's definitely not one of those things that you want to have in your system and it uh, causes weight gain. Number five, stay away from processed food. Anything that can sit in the back of your car and not and still look the same is probably bad for you, including McDonald's. Even though McDonald's tastes good, your ham that hamburger will stay in your car for eight years without getting like deformed. Does that make sense? And another thing is when you're doing processed food, try to pick stuff that's alive and has been in the ground and isn't and has not been in a package. Like go to the healthy, like go to the fruits and vegetables aisle at your grocery store. Pick out things that you actually like. Don't force yourself to eat stuff that you don't like. Try to find things that you can compromise on and actually enjoy eating. I love mangoes. Even though they're not the best for you, they're still pretty good. And it's a lot better than having a cookie or a dish of ice cream. So those are my five tips and these hopefully will help you guys with your eating and hopefully you guys can stay tuned till my next Fit Fridays video because I'm super duper excited because that one is going to be lots of fun and um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So I love you guys so much. Bye!